Hello, this is Kelly with UltimateMotorcycling.com. This is the 2018 Husqvarna Fart Pelin 401. Totally unique looking bike, isn't it? If you've got a few minutes to tag along, I'll give you my thoughts on this bike. First off, despite the visual cues that might point to off-road, like the wire wheels and the knobby tread tires, the bench seat, and the wide handlebars, don't take this fart peeling into the dirt. No, it's an urban bike. It's meant for the back roads of downtown, freeways, and pretty much any kind of around town riding and commuting you can think of. So while we think of Husqvarna as an off-road motorcycle company, they really haven't had purely street bikes for about 50 years. But that's changed. This fart peeling, oh, and that means black arrow in Swedish. The Fart Pelin 401 is one of three bikes from Husqvarna for the street for 2018. This Fart Pelin is a 373cc single. It's got plenty of torque and it's absolutely capable of taking on commuting duties on busy freeway. Now as an around town urban and freeway bike, the suspension needs to be more compliant, a little bit softer, so that it can take on all kinds of road conditions. And the Spark Peeling does a really good job. We have deteriorating asphalt, potholes, pavement ripples, expansion joints, really big expansion joints on some of the freeways. And the suspension is dialed pretty well, which is good because it's not adjustable but it handles everything predictably and that's really the key. Oh, and don't worry about that flashing light on the dash. It's just to show where the best fuel economy is and I'm not riding the most efficient manner for fuel economy. The bike's willing to be an aggressive partner, so if you choose to ride it this way, just ignore the red lights. This fart peeling makes an excellent commuter through busy traffic. If you're lucky enough to be able to lane split where you live, this is a great little bike for it. It's small and narrow. Actually, having said it's small, it's not cramped. But yes, it is narrow and it does a great job of snaking through traffic. The mirrors sit high. So in really tight situations, they're likely to come into conflict with truck and SUV mirrors. And actually these mirrors are not really very good at showing me what's behind me. I fiddled with them a few times, I still get a lot on my shoulder. So they do a good job of reminding me what jacket I'm wearing. The bike has a really good feel around the tank. You can get your legs wrapped around it and get a really good grip on it. And that's always a, a nice feeling for high speed freeway riding. The seat on the Spark Peeling is quite firm. When I first threw a leg over the bike and sat on it, I was like, wow, that's a hard seat. But unexpectedly, it's totally comfortable. I went on a three and a half hour ride around the city and the suburbs a few Sundays ago, and my butt did not get tired and I wasn't fidgety. Now granted, round town riding means a lot of stop and go as you hit traffic lights and stop signs, but still, I was impressed with how good that bench seat feels. The brakes on the Spark Peeling are quite nice. There's a single 320 millimeter in the front, a 230 in the rear, and they're more than capable of slowing this bike down quickly. The bike is only 347 pounds, so it's light, and there's really not that much to slow down. I will say though that the brakes have a bit of an abrupt feel. They're pretty powerful if you give a good squeeze to them. Happily, there is 
some free play at the front lever before they really kick in, so just don't grab them. They're progressive and they'll do a good job with a reasonable squeeze. I'll say a quick word about the rest of the dash though. It's pretty unusual looking and that fits in with the Spark Peelin style. The dash is set, as you can see, at a pretty flat angle. It is legible though. Mostly the fonts are narrow and some of the lettering is small, so it could be a little bit better. But the important parts like the speedometer are large. Not a problem reading that. And it has a gear indicator. I like that. The Svart Pelin 401 is definitely an attention getter. I've uh, been stopped at a light and had the guy in the car next to me roll down the window and lean out and ask, what is that? It's like he recognized the Husqvarna name, but he said, that's not a dirt bike, is it? He was really thrown by that. So it's definitely an interesting, you know, a really unique bike and it gets people's attention and that's fun. Turn and catch a little Mulholland action. You can see how much that dives when you really, really grab those brakes. But there's some good convincing stopping power and, and that allows you to ride the bike with a lot of confidence. So the Svart Peelin has a 32.9 inch seat height. I have a 30 and a half inch inseam. I'm not flat footed on this bike but it really doesn't matter because the bike is so light that there's no confidence issue at all when you come to a stop. This is a great little bike to kick around town on. I was like, today my, my commute took me on the freeway, on a busy crowded freeway, then across Westwood into Beverly Hills over, you know, busy streets, over the canyon, and now back here into the valley. Yeah, it's not a canyon sport bike. The suspension is a bit too soft for that, but you can have a darn good time just about everywhere else. So, 
two thumbs up for the Husqvarna Fart Peel and 401. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Catch you next time.